What's up everybody? It's Amy here from Amy's Art Alchemy. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will be showing sneak peek video part two for our June swap with the A3 ATC swap group. If you are new to my channel and unfamiliar with what I'm talking about, First off, welcome. I am so glad that you stopped by. My name is Amy and I host a international artist trading card swap group over on my Instagram. It's called the A3 ATC swap group. A3 is just short for Amy's Art Alchemy, just kind of gives it a unique hashtag, makes it easy to remember. And currently we have over 500 artists from all over the world taking part in our A3 ATC swap group. I do have a few more spots available if you are looking for an artist trading card swap group to join. It's an amazing group to be a part of. I will have my information in the description box below. Just head on over to my Instagram, send me a private message letting me know what country you are from if you would like more details and are interested in joining. So in today's video, I like to show sneak peeks of the artist trading cards before I do the swap. So that is what we will be doing today. This is actually part two video for our June swap that will be taking place on June 15th. If you missed part one, I will leave the link in the description box below where you can go back and watch that as well. So let's get started with sneak peek part two. This first set of cards comes from the United Kingdom. These come from Michelle. Michelle is, uh, like I said, an artist from the UK, um, which I need to add that on there. Michelle, I'm gonna go back and add that you are from the UK on there. Um, you can find her at Crafty Michelle, and she is not only on Instagram, but she is also on YouTube and creates some amazing videos there as well. So be sure and go check her out. The only thing I'm going to add to these, Michelle, is that you are from the UK. Um, just so we have your name, your Instagram name, and your location. Um, just since these cards travel all over the world, it's nice to know where the art comes from. So I will go back and add that on there. These are titled art cards. And if you notice on these, I love how she repurposed playing cards. It just so happens that most playing cards, now not all playing cards, but most playing cards are actually the exact same size of artist trading cards. Um, I like to make sure that the artist trading cards in our group fall within that traditional size of two and a half inches by three and a half inches. Um, of course, I don't get a ruler out and measure them. But the reason I like to make sure they are that traditional size is so the artist can slide them in their ATC sleeves, which speaking of, I do have a series called ATC Display and Storage Solution Series um, of how you can store your artist trading cards. And I do have at least three more videos that I am trying to get filmed to add to that series. So be sure and check it out because if you've been in this group for a long time, then you probably have quite the collection growing already, which I absolutely love. Um, also, I want to mention, I love how she still has the playing card showing through. I love that. So you, she repurposed the playing card. Um, it looks like she just kind of, um, uh, kind of like buffed it out a little bit, just gave it more of like a vintage feel. She added some, um, my guess would be like some sandpaper to it just to kind of give that different feel to it. I may be wrong, but that's what I like to do is to take off that little extra and to just give it some distress marks. So I may be wrong. That may not be how she did it, but I love how she has the actual playing card peeking through. Um, I love the beautiful stamp illustration that she has on there. All of these are pretty much the same. Um, I love the way that she has colored these. This says, dream, imagine, inspire, and create. And this one says, let your light shine. So we've got this beautiful stamp. We've also got some um, stamped script text down here at the back. Um, I mean, at the bottom and then at the back, we've also got some book text. So I love the way that she did that. This one says shine. So I love the way that she colored these in. 
absolutely beautiful cards. Oh, and I didn't read this part. It says, smile, breathe, and go slowly. This one, she also added some music note paper on there. So I love the way that she collaged these. I love how um, if she didn't use sandpaper, you'll have to let me know, Michelle, how you do yours. Um, but I love how you just kind of um, did this to the back of the card. I just think that adds so much to it. This one is titled Shine. This one says, let your light shine. I love the A. And if you'll notice, if you're new to our group and you're probably wondering why you see six ATCs whenever you signed on and I mentioned that only five is required for the swap. So many artists in our group always create a six card for me to keep. Um, that is never, ever expected, so please don't feel like you have to do that. I just want to explain why you see six cards in some of these sneak peek videos. I would like to take this opportunity to thank all of the amazing artists that always include a six card for me. That is very, very sweet of you. Um, it's something that I never expect, but I want you all to know that I do appreciate it. So obviously, with my logo being A3, of course, the A just immediately stuck out, um, stuck out, and she didn't label on the back which one she wanted me to keep. So, Michelle, I believe the A has definitely won me over, and I love the Let Your Light Shine. So, then we also got the Queen and Seven. So, beautiful cards. I love the music note paper in the back. I love the way that she did these. I love the color. I absolutely love this stamp. Um, you'll have to let me know who who makes this stamp. I've actually never seen that one before. So beautiful cards. Go check her out, not only on her Instagram, but also on her YouTube. Um, she's got so many amazing videos. I am really far behind on catching up on all of my YouTubers that I follow, um, but Michelle always has some amazing ones. So go give her a follow. And Michelle, I'm going to add UK on the back of these. This next set of cards comes from Belgium. These come from Julie. And you can find her on Instagram at Crafty Flow. So we've got all of her information on the back. These are titled Butterflies. Uh, artist is Julie, um, also known as Crafty Flow on Instagram, and she is an artist from Belgium. She also included our hashtag, thank you so much for doing that. Um, I always like for people to try to remember to include our hashtag just because um, currently there's a lot more artist trading card swap groups out there, and I, I just think it's awesome to remember what group you received your cards from. Also, I strive really hard to make sure you never receive from the artist twice, the same artist twice. So it's nice to know um, what group they came from. She also has her email on the back of there. So you can reach out to her. She's an amazing, amazing artist. Super sweet. And just look at these. So I love the way that she packaged these. So pretty. First off, I want to point out the colors. Okay, this pink color, this peachy pink, um, I like to call it peachy pink, um, kind of like a rose gold pink. It is one of my all-time favorite colors, and Julie knows this, and she actually sent me a little note that said she used that color just for me. So thank you so much, Julie. I obviously talk about it all the time. <laughs> so for people to know that, because these are just some of my favorite colors. I also love um, this color with the rose gold. I just love that color combination. And if you follow me on Instagram, which if you are a member of our group, then you do, then you know that I love that um, rose gold with the peachy rose gold pink peach colors and the light turquoise so I love that I also love the way that she added um this blue indigo ink in the background so so very pretty I love that the butterflies have some dimension to them they are not too thick so um it is important to remember when you're sending in your ATCs that I'm mailing these all over the world so try to make sure you don't have too much dimension to them and when I say too much I mean like big glass beads or metal beads 
um, that makes it really hard and ends up changing the regular envelope to a package, which increases the price of shipping drastically. So these have just the right amount of dimension to give it that extra pop, but they can be flattened, which is perfect. Um, Julie also knows that I love my florals and botanicals, and I love the way that she incorporated these die cuts. So she has the negative space of the die cut, and then she also has the positive part of the die cut, which I love the way that she did that. I absolutely love the indigo um, ink splatters on there. Um, it looks like also some coffee stained paper. I love the little gold dots that she added on there. The book text, these are just gorgeous, Julie. You know I would love them as soon as you made them. Uh, she incorporates all the different florals. Absolutely love these. Uh, Julie from Crafty Flow from Belgium. So definitely go give her a follow, you guys. Amazing, talented artist and super blessed to have her in our group. This next artist comes from Michigan. These come from Kimberly Angelwood. And you can find Kimberly at K Angelwood right there. She is an artist out of Michigan. Um, she also has repurposed some cards, which I love seeing people repurpose. And I love the way that she has collaged these on there. So pretty. Thank you so much, Kimberly, for including an extra one for me. Let me just, I, I get so overwhelmed by looking at how exciting pretty they are. Let me just start with one. <laughs> um, I love the way that she has the birds collaged on there. First off, birds with hats. How cute is that? Like, seriously, I didn't mean to rhyme there, but how cute is that? Birds with hats. I had to say it again. <laughs> I love that. I just think they are too, too cute. Really pretty, uh, beautiful illustrations. Um, also, you guys know I love postage stamps. I collect postage stamps, so I love when people incorporate postage stamps on there as well. Um, we've got part of a bingo card collaged on there. I love this from our cabinet of curiosities. And the funny thing is, I am actually working on a cabinet myself and I'm calling it Cabinet of Curiosity. So I think that was just ironic whenever I saw these. I thought, man, I mean, obviously I knew I didn't come up with the term Cabinet of Curiosities, but I just thought it was ironic that I have been gathering little things for my, for my, mine's actually a shelf. Um, but I, I love the way that you did these beautiful cards. Kimberly from Belmont, Michigan. This one has the beautiful um, Iris in the back. I love, love, love the illustration here. This one is just a sticker that she added on top of there. We've got the bird postage stamp. She also added some music note paper. And then of course the adorable bird with the, uh, the little top hat on, like so cute. This one has some music note paper as well. It's got some stickers. It's got the really pretty stamps. Um, the bird illustration with the top hat, and then these flowers also have a really pretty glitter on them. This one, I just love the color because I love this uh, rose gold pink color. Um, as I said previously, it is one of my favorite colors, so I fell in love with this immediately. So um, this one just really spoke to me, I think, just mainly because of the colors. I love this. This one, she added some washi tape on there. Um, it's got like the little postage um, stamp on there as well as some florals. Um, we've got a little bit of the leaves from the florals on there. I love how she added some glitter. We've got the little bird's nest. We've got some music note paper and then again, the, the stamp. Aren't these just awesome? So many people love birds, and I just think the birds with the hats are just so, so cute. I believe it was, I'm trying to remember, I believe it was Chrissy Nymphos, I believe, I may be wrong, um, that sent me a postcard thanking me uh, for our group, and it had um, birds with hats, and I just thought it was cute. Now, 
I, I may be wrong. I apologize if if it is you that has said, somebody has said that to me and I am naming the wrong artist. I do have that um, filed and ready to go in my A3 Friends Across the World journal. I just thought it was super cute. So again, we've got some bingo cards on there, the postage stamp and the beautiful birds. And these are just so cute. Kimberly Angelwood from Michigan at K Angelwood. I have also created a featured artist spotlight video of Kimberly. I would love for you to go check it out. It is saved on my playlist of artist spotlight videos. Uh, not only is she an amazing artist, but she is also a soap maker of Flow Bathworks. So you guys go check that out. She does, man, amazing, amazing soaps, amazing artists. Go check out that uh, featured artist video. I'll also leave that in the description box below. So you can just head and click that link and check that out and get all the information about um about Kimberly it's just it's just amazing I love it so much and speaking of featured artist video I have also done a spotlight video of this amazing artist I love Ricky so much she is an artist out of Denmark she is our only artist out of Denmark you can find her at Rizala Designs um, and this has a different date because we had actually switched to every other month when we first started the group, which she's been a member for a long time, which I am so grateful for because I am a huge, huge fan of hers. Um, we were doing every month and then I felt like every other month was better just with uh, people's busy schedules. So uh, that is why this date is on there. But she just does some beautiful, beautiful work. And also on her current batch of cards that she sent me, she also has her other Instagram account, which I have it memorized. So I'm going to go ahead and mention it here. Rizala Designs is where you can find her art. But then she also has an Instagram account called Rizala Treasures. And on that account, she sells um, vintage ephemera and things that she has found um, at estate sales markets and things like that, antique stores. Just amazing, amazing stuff. Uh, she does really good deals on it. She creates beautiful work. Please, please go check her out. Uh, also would really love for you to check out her artist spotlight video. I'll put that in the link below. So let me go ahead and turn these over. <laughs> um, beautiful, beautiful cards. Like I said, I'm a huge huge fan of hers. Um, I have been for a while. We did a happy mail swap uh, long before I started this artist trading card swap group. So I just love it so much. I love that the way that she has this little window with this little acetate window. Um, she's got the little number um, on there. She's got some postage stamps, which I love. Uh, I love the way that she added this textile on there beautiful beautiful memories um this has got some embossing on there just gorgeous cards all of her work let me tell you she has sent me some amazing happy mail and that is on her artist spotlight video just go check her out she creates amazing journals uh she also is on part of a design team um she's the girl is super talented Super, super talented. So not only check her out on Instagram um, at Rizala Designs, but also check her out at Rizala Treasures. So um, I'll be sure and try to put that in the description box below as well. So we got the same type of uh, design, window design. It's got the little scalloped edges with the stamp and number. This one says Timeless Treasures. That one said Memories. This one says Journey. This one says field notes, and this one says timeless. So again, I just, I, I love her work. She also did some inking, not only around the outside of these, but also around the little window, uh, just to give it some extra dimension. Beautiful, beautiful work from Ricky at Rizala Designs from Denmark. This next artist comes from Canada. These come from Tammy Bramley, 
and you can find her on Instagram at Tales of Tammy. I love it. This Instagram name fits her perfect because she has some adorable cats and I just think it is awesome. Uh, she is an artist out of Canada. Um, she's got all of her information on there and you guys, as I say probably every single time, and it's just like on repeat, but I love flowers so much. And the way that she did these are like die cuts. So let me just start with one. First of all, the colors of these, I love it. I love the blue with the pinks and the orange and turquoise. Um, she did uh, different cutouts of flowers, did some doodles on there. So each one is different. But how cool are these? This one has, look at this, like it's all little, um, like a whole bunch of little petals. Is that not awesome? These are so cute, so cute, Tammy. I love this one because I love this color combo. This teal, this deep teal with the magenta and this bright orange red. Oh, this is like one of my favorite color palettes. And it reminded me um, to use this color palette whenever I saw that. So whenever I look at your ATCs, I always have a stack of mail waiting for me because I don't like to open it as soon as I get it. I like to make sure that I have a 100% focus on that envelope. Um, one, I like to stay super organized. Our group has grown tremendously. And so it's important that I'm focused on one thing at a time so I stay organized, but two, so I can take in all the little details. And then that helps me whenever I go and create these artist spotlight videos, point out all of the amazing things. And this color palette was one that really spoke to me. So beautiful, beautiful cards from Tales of Tammy from Tammy Bramley from Canada. This next set of cards comes from Wanda Satterwhite. She is an artist out of North Carolina, and you can find her at satterwhite.wanda369. She um, is an artist out of North Carolina. She also used our A3 ATC swap. I love that, thank you so much. She's got all of her information on here as well. These are just adorable. I love the textiles. What I really liked about these though is to me, I don't know if this is what she was going for, but to me, this textile made me think of a tiara. And I say that because we've got the adorable little, um, I want to say like a ballerina princess dress is what I call it. Of course, I only have boys, but to me, this is what a ballerina princess dress would look like and what my girls would own if I had girls. <laughs> so I love that, but this made me think of a tiara. So I'm curious, Wanda, if you were kind of going for the same thing or if you just add it to the top and I just happen to think that, but I love that. I love the textile. I love the shape of it. Like I said, it just makes me think of a tiara on top of these really feminine cards. Um, I love the little embroidered flower. Uh, this one has some beads on there, but it's not too thick, so this is perfectly fine. Um, we've also got stitching. Uh, we also have some little mesh. Like I said, very, very feminine cards. These are just beautiful so all of these are pretty much the same. Um, I failed to mention the little number at the top. I love numbers. Um, also, uh, under the beads, we also have some textiles there. So this one says, Unforgettable Adventure. And then they all have different little sequins on there. I love how she has this hanging. Just beautiful. This one says, Awesome. This one, I almost skipped it. This one says, Proverbs 17, 17, which I love this scripture. A friend loveth at all times. I love it. Love the stamp. Love that you chose to stamp it in turquoise on the pink background. Um, I love the, um, it's like a watercolor background. She's got some peaches, some pinks, some purples. Just absolutely beautiful. This one says awesome. And this one says awesome. So Wanda Satterwhite from North Carolina at satterwhite.wanda369, and these are titled Spring Dance. 
from North Carolina. This next set of cards comes from Georgia. These come from Christine Wilkins, and you can find Christine at CW Crafts 330. Um, she sent these in these little envelopes, these little vellum envelopes, and then they have the little decoration on there with the number. Um, and then they, they are just absolutely gorgeous as well. I love how she did the background of these. I love the colors. I love the texture on there. Um, I love the words you chose. I love the stickers. I love how you collaged it. Um, I love how this is just beautiful, beautiful cards um, by Christine. So I'm gonna take each one out of the envelope, but I promise I will put them back in before the swap. So just so I can give you guys a closer look. Uh, this one says kindness, and then we've got the same, um, the same type elements on there through the stencil, texture paste, or collage paste, um, through the stencil, inspiration. This one says beautiful things. This one also, I love the big number eight on there. So pretty. We've got some bird washi tape on there. I mean, bird. That is a butterfly. This is a bird. <laughs> butterfly washi tape on there. This one says create. Okay, I was confused because the uh, create is this way, but the bird face is this way. So either way you turn it, it's beautiful. So from Christine Wilkins from CW Crafts. 3.30, an artist from Georgia. And this one says, lovely things. I love it so much. I love, love, love the colors. Um, as you know, one of my favorite color palettes. So beautiful cards from CW Crafts 3.30 from Georgia. Speaking of Georgia, here's another set of cards from Georgia. These come from Erin Shevchik. She is a artist from Georgia. You can find her at erin.shevchik. Uh, these are titled Cayman. Um, all of her information is on the back of there. These are just gorgeous. These bright, bright colors. I mean, how pretty is that? I love the abstract feel of them. I love the um, this teal turquoise we've got like some teal we've got like some lighter turquoise which i love it um we've also got like a lighter mint green the bright neon pink the cobalt blue neon yellow neon orange which just really pops out so pretty and then also i don't know if you guys can see it uh through the little bag but it also has some glitter on there for like the sand so, so, so pretty. From Erin Shevchik from Georgia, and these are titled Cayman. So, so, so pretty. I love the colors of these. Gorgeous, gorgeous cards. This next set of cards comes from Maryland. These come from Atalanta Shea. Um, I love the way that she did these. She just did the um, I love the way that she snipped off the corners of these. Uh, she did a lot of collage and doodles on them. Really pretty, really colorful. Uh, this one says, be kind. I love how she added the gold on there. We've got some washi tape, some different papers on there. This one says, ice cream is cheaper than therapy. I agree, girlfriend. I agree. <laughs> I love it. She's got the ice cream cone. Uh, first of all, it's like a mint. So that is just super cute. And then she's got the bright pink kind of outlining it. Um, I love the way that you did that. This one says, no idea today. I love it. She's got um, a little table here with a chair, all the little doodles on there. So these have a very, very abstract feel to them. Lots of different collage work. I have a hard time doing abstract. I love abstract work, but I have a hard time creating abstract. So that is something that I would like to work on. So beautiful cards from Adelanta Shea from Maryland. And you can find her, yep, Adelanta Shea. This next set of cards comes from Ohio. 
These come from Polly Ford Johnston, and you can find her on Instagram at Ella F J 13. Uh, she has been a member with us for a long time. Love having her in our group. Um, she's got all of her information on the back. I love, love, love the stamp that you used on here. Um, she's an artist from Ohio. She sends hers in these really nice protective sleeves. And then when I send her five back, I just refill the sleeve so it stays nice and sturdy. So that is a great way to send them uh, just to make sure they stay protected. So on hers, she's got this beautiful music note paper in the background. I love these girl illustrations. Polly, you are going to have to let me know what sticker set these come from, like where you ordered them from. I have a lot of the um, girl illustrations, but I have not seen this style, and I just fell in love with them instantly, especially this one. It's just so cute. Actually, I say especially this one. Uh, this one just as much and this one just as much. So actually, I don't love any one any more than the other. Beautiful, beautiful car. She has um, the word bloom on there. Um, we also have this really pretty ephemera piece that has a floral. Um, it's got the date stamp. So pretty. I love the soft colors of them. Really pretty cards. I love this soft the soft palette on them. And I believe what she did, um, I may be wrong, but it looks like she added just like a sheer layer of, I, d I don't know. To me, I would uh, probably use like a tissue paper or the um, second part of the napkin, like the ply, second ply of the napkin, um, just did a layer over them. It feels like maybe tissue paper just to soften it all so you can still see the colors and all the designs in the background but i love the way that you did that it gives a beautiful feel to it um and then i love the sticker on top so beautiful cards you're gonna have to let me know what it is you used on the top of these if it is just um a form of vellum or if it is tissue paper or what and then also let me know uh, where you got this collection of girls from because these are beautiful. One of these may just have to be my five because I love these so much. So Polly Ford Johnson at Ella FJ 13 from Ohio. This next set of cards comes from Illinois. These come from Kelda Hudson. And you can find her on Instagram at Kelda RR. Um, let's see, we've got we've got her name, we've got Illinois, we've got her hashtag, but we do not have your Instagram name, Kelda. So I am going to try my best to remember to go back and add that. So um, sometimes I miss that when you guys send in your cards and I don't get a chance to go back and add things to people's cards or uh, fix anything or add any information and then they end up swap. I always try to look at our hashtag and let people know who created them, but I'm gonna try to remember to do that as soon as I uh, finish recording this. So you can find her, Kelda. She's an artist from Illinois at Kelda RR. So K-E-L-D-A-R-R. I love the way that she did the back of these two. So we've got the really pretty purple background. And then just take a look at how gorgeous these are. I love the hot air balloon die cut. Super, super cute. I love the design in the hot air balloon. I love the hearts. Um, I love the feel of the paper. Uh, it's got like a really nice texture to it as well as the cardstock in the back. So like I said, when I get these cards in, I really, take my time to examine every little thing. And I love that. I love, uh, that's why it takes me so long sometimes to get through the mail because I like to just sit and examine each one and appreciate every little thing of the card. Every artist in our group, I have so many people that message me, especially when they're joining on that say, I don't consider myself an artist. Um, 
to me, everybody in our group is an artist because if you create something, if you are a maker of something, you are an artist. It doesn't matter whether you're drawing, whether you're painting, whether you're sewing, that is a form of art. So I always try to express that. Um, and I love being able to examine each card from every single artist. I kind of got off on a little rant there. <laughs> Beautiful cards. I love the, um, I guess I said that because somebody in this video watching may need to hear that. Um, don't devalue yourself. You are all extremely talented and it doesn't matter what level you are on. Everybody in our group is welcome and each card will be loved. And the, the cool thing about our group is I try really hard to make sure that you don't receive from the same artist twice. So your cards are just gonna be going all over the world and they are sure to be loved by somebody, I promise. I love them and I value each and every one of you for sending your cards in. So back to Kelda's cards, just had to, just had to say that. Um, I love that she used this little die cut from the uh, hot air balloon. She used the little heart up at the top um, I may have said this before I got off on my little rant, but I love the little floral background of these papers. It's got some really pretty purples and blues. I love all the little dainty flowers. Um, it says wonder, beautiful, beautiful card. So all of these are pretty much exactly the same. I love the washi tape just to kind of break it up. Beautiful, beautiful cards, Kelda. Thank you so much. Um, for your contribution and for making an extra one for me. That is super, super sweet of you. Um, and I will go back and add your Instagram name. So, sorry, this is why our videos are long because I always get off on a little um, side things that I wanna say, but I feel like sometimes when I say them, there is somebody out there that needs to hear that. This next set of cards comes from Georgia. We have a couple from Georgia this sneak peek. These come from Robin Anderson, and you can find her at robins.space. She's an artist from Georgia. She's got all of her information on there, and she also used our hashtag, thank you so much. This is a great way to do that, is to just have it printed or on labels. So the way you did that is perfect, Robin. So I love Robin's car. She just does, she has been making Oh my goodness, some amazing journals. Go check her out. First off, let me say, when I got these, I fell in love with the colors. Like, look how bright these are. I love it. I love the fluorescent pink, the fluorescent orange. I love the black, bold botanical on there. Um, I love the white art marks and the silver art marks, all the different art marks. Like we've got the dots, we've got circles, open circles, closed circles. Um, I love it. I love the way that she framed around these. I love how she filled in the big black bowl botanicals with some white details. Um, and then I love how she did the textile on there. So be the reason someone smiles. I love that. I think that is a very, very important statement. And I hope that you all know that you're loved and that when I send your mail to you that it brings joy to your mailbox and a smile to your face. I say that all the time and I truly do mean it. Um, I also love the way that she framed around these. So all these are just slightly different but um, beautiful, beautiful colors on these. And then again, the just bold botanicals on there uh, just really kind of goes well with all the bright background and art marks. Um, if you can see, we've also got some book text collaged in the background. Beautiful, beautiful cards from Robin Anderson at robins.space from Georgia. And then all my long talks, this video ended up being long again too, uh, but I got one more to share for sneak peek part two. And these come from Canada. And I always say I am her number one fan. So you guys already know who I'm talking about. The very talented Mary Lou Cadiz Marshall. Her cards are just amazing. I love her art. I love her style. 
Um, she not only does beautiful art illustrations, she also creates amazing printables. Uh, you'll definitely have to go check her out. Her business name is MCM Voila. Um, and she's got it right there. She's got her cute little picture on the bottom, which I just love the way that she has that. Um, she has my uh, Create, Swap, Collect, which that is like my slogan for our group. Um, I told my husband, I was like, I really want to get that trademarked just because that is something that I came up with our group. Um, and I love the way that she incorporated it for the cards for our group. So A3 ATC Swap Group, Create, Swap, Collect. Um, and then she's got all of the, her information on there. Uh, artist from Canada, MC Voila. I love the way that she did this. And then she also does a signature on them. So go check out her printables. Like I was saying, not only her art, she teaches some classes, but she also does um, designs digital printables. She has an Etsy store and she just emails them to you directly. Lots of videos on how she uses her printables. Um, I own several of her printables and I'm hoping to add the rest of her collection very soon. Um, I love the textile lace that she adds on there, the brad, um, just all the details, so gorgeous. And then she also sends them in these little bags with these extra little gifts. Now, normally um, when people send extra things, it really weighs down the envelope and it really makes it hard to send. But this is super light, so it's not a problem. So if you send extra little things, please, please make sure it's light or uh, try to include, you know, double the postage because you, you'd be surprised how much how much they weigh once you start adding things. But again, Mary Lou's are super light. Uh, the way she has her packaging is very light. I love how she coordinates it all together. She decorates the bag. She does her really pretty M embossing on the bag. She used her die cuts on there. And then she also includes little extra goodies for the person that receives the artist trading card. So beautiful, beautiful cards from Mary Lou. And I will go back and add that in there in just a second. I just want to pull out each one just because each one is slightly different. So this one has more of a zoomed out image of the same girl, which I just love. Uh, we've got the postage and five cents. I love all the dimension that she has on here. This is like a fan wood. Um, I'm trying to think what this is called, but it's like really, really thin wood. So it's super, super light. These are not heavy at all for all the extra that she does to them. Gorgeous, gorgeous cards. I tell you, number one fangirl. <laughs> so this one, I'm trying to remember what she calls these girls. I think she, Artsy Lou Girls, that's what it is. And I love it. I love this one. So cute. So they all are kind of... Kind of the same things that we've got on there, just a different uh, center focus on there as well. And then Mary Lou is always so kind to create one for me as well. Just beautiful. Look how cute are her printables. So go check her out. Show her some love. Uh, you get all these extra goodies. Just beautiful, beautiful cards. I love that. This one she also added. Um, this little extra touch to it as well. And it's got, I mean, so much detail to it. So she's got the German roll tape. Um, we've got, uh, here in the U.S., what this is to me, this is drywall tape. So I don't know in Canada if that's what it is, but uh, here we have drywall tape like that. And I like to use that as well for extra texture. I believe we've talked about this before. But I love the way that she has these little extra strings on there and then again use the little light wood beautiful cards from Mary Lou Cadiz Marshall um, all of her information is on there artist from Canada so that completes our sneak peek video part two I would love for you guys to not only like this video but to let me know in the comments your favorite card 
uh, what you liked. If I've asked you a question regarding a card that you created or technique, I love the communication and I do pay attention to those comments. So let me know which one um, that you like the most, what you like about each card. I mean, every single card on here is gorgeous. So um, don't, don't feel bad if you don't point out every single card because we all have our eyes on specific things and that's okay. I think it is Im important to be able to still express your favorites. Now that doesn't mean that you will get them, but I do uh, like to pay attention to that. So, and I love the communication on YouTube. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, I will be back very soon with sneak peek video part three. In the meantime, keep in mind it's not too late to get your ATCs in. The deadline is not until June 15th. I uh, hope you all have a great rest of your day and happy crafting.